Hi everybody! Oh, this is very exciting. It's December 1st. That means it's time for Vlogmas. Ah! A new video every day. I don't know what that scream was about. That was really loud and probably unnecessary and may have actually hurt some of your ears. So, here's what we're doing for December for Vlogmas for our video That's every day. Hey, get out of there. I didn't know it's not was. time yet. Uh, we are going to invite you to enjoy our B sack. But that actually sounded a little bit naughty what? and dirty. BSAC, B-S-A-C, British Snack Advent Calendar. So every day, December 1st through the 24th, we're gonna be opening this box, which will have a mystery British snack inside of it that we are going to try. We don't know and what it is. we're gonna show you other stuff. I mean, I, I kind of know what they all are because I bought no, them all, No, no, what do you mean? That guy anyway. put it there. All right, yes, Santa. All right, are you ready for December 1st? <gasps> Woohoo! Excellent. Well, what's happening right now? Don't don't steal any box in. Here we go. We're opening the box, and what is inside? It is Marks and Spencer Food Collection hand cooked crisps, winterberry and fizz. Winterberry and fizz. What is that? What do you think that actually tastes like? I don't know. Let's you know what that try sounds it. like? If Ant and or Deck were elves, their names would be Winterberry and I Fizz. See. Yeah. Here we go. He's opened it. Okay. Wait, can I smell? I know. I'm just getting a chip. No, but you're really not letting me smell. What? Look what it has oh, on no. it. Nothing. It has stars. Ooh, there's stars on the on oh. the crisps. Look, look, look. Oh my gosh, that's crazy! Like little gold stars. <laughs> that is uh, wild. Uh, it doesn't really say. Oh, it actually does say right here. Potato crisps with berry and white wine seasoning with thing? edible like gold stars. stars. Skittles, get down off of there. Potato crisps with berry and white wine seasoning with edible gold stars. How do they taste? Mm. I like these. I don't. I really don't know. I mean, I guess it does taste like berries and white wine. You wouldn't know what that tastes like. No. But, you know, it's kind of funny. Don't the crisps themselves look and consistency-wise taste a little bit like Mackey's? I don't know. Kind of. These are actually really good. Because there's a sweetness to them. I guess that's the berry flavor. And a little bit of the white wine flavor. But... Not a star. Yeah, these are... Yeah, now there's like these little gold stars all over my hands, too. That's bizarre. I've never seen gold stars on a potato crisp before, obviously. All right, so what do you think? Our December 1st snack, is that a ho-ho-ho or a uh, no, bah humbug? No, 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 no. Or a no, no, no. What do you think? No. No, no, no. Ain't no way. Disagree. So. I'm giving these a ho-ho-ho. I think these are delicious. And I'm glad that I ordered these, even though I had no idea what they were when I ordered them. And I don't know why it says on here, Lady Rosetta. All right, so that's our snack for the day. Stay tuned, every day we'll have a new British snack that has something to do with Christmas. And stay tuned in a minute, I'm gonna show you some absolute shopping madness when I show you the difference between what the mall crowds look like a week before Black Friday versus on Black Friday. So you're gonna see that in just a second. All right, it is a brisk November day. It's a week before Black Friday. And behind me over here is Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg, Illinois. Now when this mall was built in the early 1970s, it was the biggest mall in the United States. And I wonder if it was the biggest mall in the world. I'll have to look that up. Um, it was some absolutely spectacular modern architecture at the time, designed by a company called Charles Luckman and Associates. The interior architecture was really beautiful. Most of that has been removed since then. But I'm curious to see how many people go shopping a week from now which is Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving and typically our biggest shopping day of the year for you know Christmas and other holiday shopping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and walk through the mall a little bit today and we'll see what the crowd looks like today. And then a week from today, I'll come back if I can even find a parking spot and we'll see how the crowd is next week. And really it's a way for me to also show you some Christmas decor because I'm assuming it's all up by now. Um, so you get to see that too.
Okay, so it is Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I'm back at Woodfield Mall. We're going to see what it looks like today. And I can tell you right now, it is an absolute madhouse. It took me probably 10 minutes to get from the street to where I parked because there's so much traffic on the ring road around the mall that I, you just couldn't move. It's total gridlock. So anyway, we're going to go in. We're going to see how crowded the mall is today so you can see what it's like, what kind of madness we have to endure here. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving, which is, by the way, why I don't usually go shopping the day after Thanksgiving. This is the first time I've been to this mall in ages uh, on this day because it's just, it's nonsense and the lines at all the stores are ridiculous and everything. So let me show you what that looks like. 